Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jolie and I have been doing demonstrations on real life examples in Microsoft's new invoice cap capture AP automation. It is really exciting. I really think uh, Microsoft has really nailed this down, but I have been running through scenarios just to test everything to see how um, the functionality will work in different situations. Today's demonstration is what if the vendor sends the invoice and there's some alphanumeric and some zeros missing from the invoice number, I'm sorry, the PO number. Let me show you an example. So here's the actual invoice from the vendor. So Acme Office supplies invoice number 29, but look at the PO, it has four zeros, 32. But when I go into the purchase order itself, it starts with PO, and then it has a underscore, it has a dash, um, and then some alphanumeric. Notice the invoice doesn't have any of that. This is common. This will, will be common because your vendor will not want to put any alphanumeric. They'll just maybe even want to put 32 in sometimes. So let's see how the system behaves in this sort of situation. Um, and, and would you want the system to recognize the vendor, uh, the PO? I would think so. You'd want to match um, here if if you had a situation like this. So let's see. I'm going to close this out, go back into D365. Now, remember, I have embedded the Power App, the Invoice Capture Power App within the Vendor Invoice Automation uh, workspace. Really, an AP user only needs to work within this workspace. Um, now we are going to just upload the, the actual invoice. So maybe the, the, um, the vendor mailed it in, which is probably not the case, but or emailed and you haven't got the, the email box set up yet. That could be the case. So I'm just going to drag and drop that um, invoice over. Oh. And we see it here, I'm going to upload it. Okay, so we should see it here processing in it just a matter of seconds before it'll move up into captured. Now I do have some invoices already here. I have colleagues who are also testing and demonstrating in invoice capture. So we won't worry about those, but can you kind of see from an AP user what they would need to do is address these errors. This invoice no longer has an error, so it simply needs to be selected and transferred into pending vendor invoice, but I'll let my colleagues do that. Let me go back down here. Now you, as an AP user, won't have to worry about anything here in received files. That's just um, bringing over from either SharePoint or your email box um, and bringing them over here. This is where you would essentially work your invoices. So it looks like it's already been transferred it happened so fast. Yeah, it did not even stop in your captured invoices. It, I mean, or it happened so fast, you, you didn't even notice. And that's what we want. And that's kudos, Microsoft. Great job. So now it's impending vendor invoices. Once it's impending vendor invoices, that's when the automation starts. So look at this. That PO number was matched against that invoice. Um, so if we go look at this invoice, remember it's the invoice that has just the 00032. I think that's a great job, Microsoft. Really, it's that AI builder inside that's intuitive and knows that this is a match. I think it's great. Now, this automation, I'm gonna go ahead and pause because it does take me a second to push the automation through because it's run on time. So um, let, me sh let me share with you the timing on this. Um, matching, the first thing it'll do is every minute, I'm sorry, every 10 minutes, it'll um, run the automation. And then Microsoft keeps this as at a minimum, but once every hour, it will, ru it will run this um, automated receipt match once every hour. And then after that, it will run this update match status every 10 minutes. And then submitting to workflow once an hour. So your users don't need to worry about this unless you see it 
say not completed um, or failed or error, something of that matter. But if this has not yet run, just leave it be. So I'm going to pause this for a second while I push the automation through in the background. The first thing the system will do is update the receipt match status. So what it'll do is it will um, actually match the, the product receipts. So this is something that was manually uh, that a user would mainly have to do is uh, match the product receipts. No longer does the user, the user have to manually do that. The automation, the process automation <laughs> takes care of that. So as they're working in that workspace, this will all happen in the background. Every hour and every 10 minutes, there are certain parts of the automation for this that are working. So the next thing it'll do is it'll actually do these at the same time. It'll update the match status and then it'll submit to workflow. So let me see where we're at. Oops. Yep, absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna see this, I'm gonna copy this invoice number because now that it's being sent to a workflow, I set up a workflow that says, if it has a purchase order and it's a, a pass match status, go ahead and approve it because it's already been through approvals in the on the procurement side and post the invoice. So again, I don't have to refresh this, um, but I can tell you that it will um, post here in a minute. And a user, again, doesn't even have to worry about it. It will leave this queue without them ever knowing. So there it goes. Let's just quickly go back into the, the vendor invoice automation workspace, go into the invoice journal, and we can see that invoice is here. It's beautiful. Um, let me close my picture here. We can quickly see the invoice um, in case we'd like to review anything here. I think it's beautiful, Microsoft, kudos. Uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.